What's up, YouTube? Belkio Damien coming at you live from outer space, as you can see in the background. I'm going to try the Outer Worlds Spacer's Choice Edition. Brand new game to me, may not be a brand new game to you, but I'm going to go in and try to have some fun. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know anything about this game. Not one freaking thing. I watched the trailer, thought it looked cool, and voila. Here we go. Let's do it up. New game. Story. But yeah. Let's see. Story. Use this mode if you enjoy story more than combat. I do. And especially for playing it for the first time, we are going to go with story mode. Subtitles? Ah, uh, no. Well, no. You know what? Yeah. We did subtitles in Baldur's Gate 3. So we'll start with that. We can always change it. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, what's happening? Beware. Below average of attributes come with a penalty. All right, how about that? We'll just do one of everything. First time playing. Very first time. Next. Skills. Points available. Hmm. Let's see, do we want to do one-handed or two-handed? I like one two-handed. Just bash the hell out of everybody, right? We got points available. How do you do that, dude? I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's more down here. So there's... Le wow, look at this. Okay, so we got... Hand-to-hand -hand combat, which we're going to probably need. Ranged weapons, which I'm going to definitely want. Defense. Of course, we're going to want to have all this stuff. Stealth, of course. Hell yeah. So... For now, because I have no idea what I'm doing. You are going to paint this system red, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right I am. Aptitude. Aptitude bonus. Colonists sounded like a nice 
entry level career. Beverage service technician. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> Bureaucrat, uh, cashier. We could be a cashier. Construction, elevator operations specialist, factory worker, farmer, food janitor. Good for you. Don't let the board tell you what you're meant to be. Let's see. Wow, there's a look at all that. That's a lot of stuff. We're just gonna leave her. We're just gonna leave our character as is. Just, I'm. That's a lot of stuff to go through. I'm fine with. There's my summary. Let's go. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. My oven sounded, but then again, if you guys watched any of my any of my videos throughout the past six months you know i love eating and i'm always making food looks to be your lucky day my friend Man, I hope they give a tutorial. Please power down your engines and prepare to be not likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. He said a bad word in space. Bootlickers. It's a bad word. <laughs> Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 90%. Skip drive. Shit. That's what I said. I said the same thing. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. 
I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Um... Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Um, that's an active volcano. I landed on a planet brand new, escaped from whatever I escaped from, and there's an active volcano. Awesome. Good geo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, W A B S standard. So, is this going to be on the screen at all times? Or will that go off? Because I don't need that on the screen. Wow. Ooh, look at that. That's that's pretty. Is that right there at this... This planet's rainbow? Oh, wow, look at that. Well, okay, I just came off of playing, you know, multiple versions of Baldur's Gate 3, different characters, so. And the graphics that Larian Studios did was absolutely phenomenal. So, comparing other games to Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be like, you're going to hear me reference Baldur's Gate 3 a lot. I love that game. So I'm hoping that this game is going to be awesome too. I recently tried uh, South Park Snow Day. That game is fun. That game is awesomely fun. I love that game. I love South Park. I also recently tried to play Helldivers 2. And the game looks fun. And from what I could do, I had fun. But I had issues with the keyboard setup. And now the keyboard is all screwed up. And there's no default reset. So that you could reset the settings back to default. So that game's on hold. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're doing. Can I jump? Oh, yeah. There, I can jump. Ooh, can I jump up here? Oh, yeah. Oops. Ouch. Jump over obstacles. Hi there. Hi. Hello there. Oh, don't run away. I'm not going to hurt you. Unless you try to hurt me. And I'll squish you like a bug. Wow, this is cool. I like it so far. So far, my immediate first impressions are pretty cool. Come here, little dude. Come here. Can we get pets? Hey. Left control. Used to go underneath obstacles and to sneak. Left shift to sprint. Huh? Okay. Dude, I want that little, I want that, I want that as a pet. Wouldn't that be cool to just have that little, little thing like crawl up on your shoulder and then it just pops around on, crawls on your mask and you're like, oh my God, what are you doing? Well, there's a, come here. Fine. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there's a ship up there. I hear something. You hear something? I hear something. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. I see that. Okay, there they are. Wait, what? The awareness meters over enemies' heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay, now, okay, I understand that. But what color? I saw. I, I got it. I caught it. Okay, obviously I can't go over there. Oh, I love, oh, I love it. This is, oh my God, this is so cool. Is that me? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. What? Well, and jumping back to what I was saying earlier, I also have Cyberpunk 2077 uh, downloaded and installed, but I haven't tried that yet. I'm trying to try different games. But I was so invested in Baldur's Gate 3. Kind of put other games on hold. Oh, I love this so far. So the combat's going to be the thing. That it's going to be the... See? Why would you not want to have that as a little pet? It's so cute. Uh-oh. Okay, so... So, wait, I don't want to. Okay. Oh. It said to use one. I hear someone coughing. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Okay. <laughs> oh, are these going to be as funny as Baldur's Gate 3's? Oh, man, this, this is funny already. All right, let's see. Let's do... Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? That's pretty good. Hmm. All right, so let's see here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is... <laughs> You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Good job, guys. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. 
Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Is, is this guy quoting ads? Is he like a, a living commercial? Like The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. All right, let's not kill him. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh. <clears throat> okay. We won't, we won't kill him. Oh, that was awesome. That was funny. Oh, my God. See anything else? All right, now, what do I do? Do I have to blow them up? What's Q? Up at the top there, you see. Oh. What was that? I wonder if I can patch him up. Can we talk? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. All right, so what do you think? We're going to we're going to blow that up. Hibernation complications detected. Magical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation. Your brain processes time differently. Okay. Pressing the TTD button shows slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take actions. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see here. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TDD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. And then it refreshes over time. Okay. Alrighty. Thank <laughs> you. 
space bar double click the jump button oh yeah okay nice yeah you have a new item new inventory oh wow damn ammo okay that's ammo that's what's this ammunition energy cell it's like a wrench and these so let's see here cell value weight stealth plus five armor type skill bonus pet skills five this is for hibernation pods anyway now you can use junk or drop your consumables they can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts okay okay wait what is this skin tough hardened armor rating plus 10 last 15 seconds oh okay so these are like little boosts and okay that's cool modifications what is this mag pick we'll use the pick locks cool nice don't have nothing there don't have nothing there nice journal okay and then my map i like it i like it so far holy wait I'm missing his head did i do a headshot did the other guy have a head I might have to change. Am I using R for anything? Oh, reload. What about F? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. F is that. Damn it. Okay. Um. Okay. Freaking gorgeous. Oh man. That is beautiful. You got me hooked, man. Uh oh, I see somebody. Look at that. Right there. Mm hmm. Who's this? What in the blazes? Where'd you come from? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? Still a moron. <laughs> I'm hoping you're a little brighter. boy i our first playthrough i'm guessing we could play this oh there's this is replay value already i i could tell it's gonna be good so we'll we'll be we'll we'll be a good guy 
we'll, we'll be we'll do everything we'll try to do everything right be good and well that's a relief you don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee we'll see him back to edgewater just as soon as i cross these marauders off with the swift cost-efficient fury that's made spacer's choice the most trusted brand in personal defense i just you know need a couple of winks to catch my breath stretch my legs son well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Bye. Wow, there's Okay, so My first impressions of this game is absolutely freaking awesome. I I absolutely love it. I'm going to have fun with this game. I just know it. There's other I also like these kind of games too. So, besides Baldur's Gate 3, being a turn-based D D game i love games like fallout all the fallout games oblivion skyrim those type of games bioshock right hold on but yeah bioshock is another game and then of course i'm a huge lego fan so i played all the lego games So we came from up here, yes. We came down here and they were standing there. I want to explore. See, this is another game that, you know, you can just look at all the land. I mean, there could be hidden stuff. You know, if you played Fallout, Skyrim, Bioshock, all those games. Baldur's Gate 3. They all have like hidden secret stuff floating around exploration that's the name of the game it's where those goobers go oh. okay i already got that well they're there oh but check that out so look over there edgewater uh, okay well at least i know where edgewater is now Wait, what was that? You did see that, right? Shoot that down. Surface air missile. Primal. Resident. All right, so I got a shovel now. You see, if I would have just went up and started talking to those, the lieutenant or whatever that title of that person is, I would have missed that. But now I have a shovel, so that means uh, I can like dig, dig. That's gonna be dig up treasure. All right, all right. Now we'll go. We'll go ahead and talk to them then. We'll go ahead. Truth be told, I was hoping they were going to die. What's that? 
Is that somebody standing? Oh. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. Marauders, deserters, illegal landing. What is this colony coming to? Well, I mean... Oh, look over there. See, look. Want to go over there? I think I think we should go over there. See a hostile, don't you? Nope. All right. I'm sure we're supposed to go do that. But let's go. This was our first objective. You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map. And selecting whatever that just said Please because be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder how do you know that what's valuable to you may not be valuable to me no wait that's opposite welcome aboard the unreliable <laughs> So we're in 2325, so 300 years in the future. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all born parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment this vessel is the registered property of captain alex hawthorne i am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than captain alex hawthorne i deduce from the tone of your voice that captain hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location all right <laughs> i love it i love number three he met me, he met my escape pod, all right, head first. <laughs> I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. 
I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> Oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> the computer was like, oh, okay, hold on. Okay. Ada, the computer, caught that, right? She was like, she's smart enough to figure it out and know what I was saying and then decided to say, okay, well then, you know what? You are the new captain, Alex. Like, wink, wink. That's cool. I love it. All right, what do we have here? You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations. Well, thank you. How kind of you. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Hi, Auntie Leo. How are you? Love the hair. Okay, so let's see. What, what does it say? Um, up to maximum 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Can I talk to you again? What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. I'll be back. I'm the captain. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. Okay. This is my ship now. I gotta go get my food out of the oven, of course. Oops. Well, I only got two or three. Ah, uh, boo. All right, well, let's go. We go upstairs. No, let's go in here first. Let's see what we got going on. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Ooh, I get a new gun. Okay, let's try it out. Welcome to the Crux 2000 workbench. Allows you to repair, upgrade, or modify. Now see. Okay. All right, well, that's cool. Sleep. We can, we can, we can try that. Let's go look around first. Toss ball stick. It must be the, the game in the future. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself right before he died. Hmm, okay. So you could respec yourself if you're unhappy with your skills. That's cool. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I know, but I just... If you possess a power regulator, please insert the part into the appropriate slot, which is this one. Thank you. I'm just... I'm exploring. So there's another ladder here. Can I go up this ladder too? Yep. Okay, let's go. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. Oh, look at I. Well, hello. I'm in my kitchen. 
What kind of food can we make? Now, is there a way to help guide? Like to put away your gun? You know, if I'm just chilling in my kitchen, I don't need to be walking around with my gun. Board game? Oh, two board games. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Okay. So, when I get naked and go to sleep, you're going to be monitoring me. When I pee and poop, you're going to be monitoring me going potty. Okay. Cool book. I mean, I don't know whether you can win this game or not. But no, I mean, I don't need to have my gun out right now. I mean, I'm on my own ship. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. So this was the stairs that we saw when we were here. When we came in here. We just took the... And that's where Ada is. Alright, well, as far as I know, we explored the whole ship. So we're actually going to just stop right here. This is a good place to stop and save it right here in the ship. I'm going to figure out if I can put away my weapon without ruining. We're going to save it right here. There, no, this is a good spot right here. So yeah, this was absolutely a blast. I had a lot of fun. This was a good, this is a good game. I can't wait to keep playing it. So I'm going to be playing this and South Park Snow Day. So watch for those episodes. And also, keep an eye out for new episodes for my Baldur's Gate 3. I'm still editing my semi-evil gameplay. I'm still editing my evil, evil gameplay. And I have been contemplating on going back and redoing my good guy playthrough. Because when I first got Baldur's Gate 3, I didn't have this setup. And I started recording the game, like, I think I want to say, in Act 3. Thank you so much for watching. This was fun. Again, in closing, my first impressions of this video game is two thumbs up. I, I absolutely love it. it. I absolutely love it. The graphics, the game style, the gameplay, all the kind of stuff that I like. I am looking forward to completing this game all the way through as a good guy or as best as I can be a good guy. And I hope you tune in to watch. But thank you. Have a good night.